In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use media queries for your responsive designs. So here is the documentation. I'll get back to it later, but to get started, I'm going to show you a little bookmarklet that is very useful for um, resizing windows. So let's Google resizer bookmarklet, resizer, and it should come up first. So viewport resizer. And once it comes up, just drag and drop it to your uh, bookmark uh, bar. So now if you click on this, now you can change the width of your window just by clicking these icons. Okay, so that's about that. And the next step is to grab the project folder. So just download that. And once you download it, you have the before and after. So let's grab before and put that in our HD docs. Let me quickly put that in here. And we're just going to open it up. I have my local server running. You can just run it here. Okay, so there's nothing there. We're just going to add to it right now. Let's start by opening up the project. Um, so here I'm in HD Docs, and I'm just going to grab and drop in here so that we can take a look at the files that we have. So there's a file that I've made called Media Queries that basically summarizes the variables that are available here in Bootstrap on top. And I just grabbed that directly from the variables folder provided by Bootstrap. So if you go down here somewhere, um, if you look for the breakpoints, you can see the variables are listed here under media query breakpoints. So basically, these breakpoints define the regions for your design, and you can use them to uh, design more flexible layouts or designs or however you want to use them. So let me close this variables file. So this is the one that I've uh, made, just basically it summarizes things. You can go through them uh, on your own, you can read the uh, notes and comments. There's an important comment here about the version. So version as of 3.0.1, the variable names have changed a little bit. So just make sure that you read this portion. But these are the variables that uh, we have uh, in Bootstrap 3.0.2. And we can use them in our work. So I'm going to go through these different ways or options for using uh, these variables. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can use them in different situations. For some cases, maybe you only need option one. For some cases, you might need option one and two, or maybe one or three, depending on the work that uh, you're doing. So. I grabbed these directly from the documentation right here, so there's nothing fancy. I just re reordered them and added more comments just to explain what each line does so that you can read them and see what uh, they do. So let's get started by one simple example. Let's start the index file. I'm just going to put it up here and put the media queries file here as a reference. So I'm going to get started by making a very simple placeholder so we can use them. And this is going to be demonstrating option one, which enables you to work within each region. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to put a h1 here and some um, basic text. We're going to change the presentation of this text right here for different uh, window sizes. So we're going to use these options here. So for option one, we're going to use these media queries. So let's open app.less and here I've loaded bootstrap and media queries, which is this file. And we can get started by adding our own styles. So really quick, let's just target the placeholder and we're dealing with option one. So there we go. Here we can start adding our media queries. So let's say for largest, large screens and bigger or wider, we want to target it specifically. We're going to target the style or presentation of this H1 uh, differently than other sizes. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right here. And we're going to target the H1 just like that. I'm going to say the font size when it's in that region, which is bigger than large screens because we're using min width. When we use min width, we're setting the lower boundary. So we're saying 
any size starting from screen large min, which is defined here in variables. So if you look for screen large min, you can see it right here, which is set to be 1200 pixels. So we're saying for Windows screens, for sizes larger than 1200, we're going to target the size of this H1 and differently. So we're going to set this to be, let's say, 8 amps. And we're going to set the color to be blue. This is a blue color that I've defined in colors.list, nothing really fancy. So now if we open it up, we should see it there. And as you can see, it does what we want it. So I'm going to turn on the resizer and we're going to see what's going to happen when we go to smaller screens. So let me flip these guys so we can have it in bootstrap regions. So I flipped all of them so they're all in um, in sync with bootstrap's um, breakpoints regions. So this is for large screens. So for this and beyond, it's going to stay like that. Uh, so that's going to be a big value and it's going to stay like that for big screens and for smaller screens it's going to obviously change but we haven't specified anything for those regions so uh, let's do that now so here back in our media queries i'm going to grab the second region so between medium and large screens which is between 992 pixels and um, 1119 pixels i'm going to grab that and i'm going to paste it after this media query, which ends here. So I'm going to add that here, and I'm going to target the H1 uh, differently. So I'm just going to copy the same thing, but I'm just going to make the font size a little bit smaller, let's say six, and I'm going to change the color to red. So now we expect this to be red and smaller in that region. So for large screens and beyond, it's going to be blue, and for between medium screen and small screen, it's going to be red. And otherwise, we haven't specified the other ones. And it just defaults to whatever it is. OK, so you get the idea. We can grab the, the third region, which is between small and medium size screens, between these two dimensions, 768 and 991 pixels. So I'm just going to grab that and paste it right here. Similar idea. So Media, the first media, second media query ends there, and I'm going to add the third one uh, right there. So I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller, change the color, and we should see that in the third region, we have a different style. So again, to summarize, for large screens and beyond, the this is the style applied to it, and as we go smaller, you can also grab this handle here. So as I go smaller, the size changes, so does the styles. And just for the last one, this is the media query targeting the styles for smaller for screens smaller than um, smaller than uh, small screens. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to put it after this media query. So I'm just going to copy that and just to demonstrate that it works. I'm going to put that here. I forgot what kind of colors I have. One second. So let's get the orange. Okay, so as we expect, we go down there and we get what we needed. So this is what I meant by defining specific regions. So this is very specific and you can target them directly. Now, the other option is to relatively target these regions. So, for example, you want to say for regions starting from, let's say, medium screen and beyond, set a certain style. So for that, you would use mid-width. Or you can say for small screens and beyond, set a, a certain style. So for that, uh, you can use option two. So let's go here, option two. Um, as you can see, all of these are using mint width. Um, unlike option one that uses both min width and max width, 
to determine those um, specific regions. So let me show you um, the how you can use option two. So option two targets a range of um, screens. So when you set that min width, it's going to target that starting from that um, dimension from that point. Sorry, from that point and beyond because you're using min width. Okay, so let's go to index and I'm just going to copy this markup that we have and I'm going to paste it here and it's called option two. I'm going to comment out the first one so we don't get confused. And let's make this a bit readable here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this basic thing and make option two. Let me get rid of all these. So we have option two. There's nothing there. Okay, so let's say we were in a situation where we need to target um, small screens and beyond. So I'm going to go here in option two and I'm going to grab um, this one. So this says from small screens and beyond uh, target uh, styles. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to paste it inside this class. And just like before, we're going to target the H1 and we're going to set a font size for it and also a color. Okay, so now when I come back here, we expect this to be blue and a certain size. And this is going to target from small screens and beyond, which is here. So when I go smaller than that, then it's going to change. So I hope that was clear. So here with min width, we're going to start from small size and beyond. The style is going to stay the same. So now if I change this instead of small and change it to extra small, it's going to start from extra small, which is somewhere here, and it's going to keep that style and keep it like that for all the other devices. And obviously you have the other option, um, let's say medium screens. So if I set this to medium, so it's going to start from medium screen, which is here, and it's going to keep that style and keep it for uh, screens bigger than that. So it's going to keep it for that, for that, and for bigger screens. Now if I go one smaller, then it's going to change obviously. So I hope that made sense. Very similar to this um, option, you have the third option which uses max width, which basically sets the upper boundary. Uh, instead of starting from that point, it ends at that point. So if I say max width is, let's say, um, small screen. Then it's going to set the upper boundary as the small screen, which is 991 pixels, and it's going to target all the screens below that. So let me show you what I mean. Let me quickly make another uh, placeholder for the third option so we can uh, explore that a little bit. So let me comment that out, and I'm going to make another one, another CSS selector for the third one. And I'm just going to get rid of this one. So the third option, we, in the third option we're using uh, max width space, which sets the upper boundary. So let's say we want to target um, all the screens from uh, very small all the way up to uh, medium screen. Then we can pick this one. I'm going to just pick that and put it here and I can just style whatever I want. So let's say we're going to set the font size to be 8 amps and the color to be red. So now this is going to start targeting from small size and goes all the way down. So from small all the way down it's going to keep that style but if I go a little bit beyond that it's going to default to whatever it is. Actually, it was medium, sorry. I had set it to be the medium screen. So starting from medium, which is here, and below, it's going to keep that style. But above that, so let me select it again. But above that, it's not going to keep it. 
Now you can obviously set this to be SM for small screens. So starting from small screens and below, it's going to keep that style. So it's here, that boundary, and it's going to keep that for values for widths smaller than that. And obviously it's not going to keep it for values bigger than that. So this value is a little bit bigger than that. That's why it doesn't like it. So this is the small values starting from small screen all the way down. It's going to keep it, but a little bit beyond that, it's going to default to something else. So you can use these media queries in conjunction or combination, however you want, and depending on the work that you do. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.